Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to a new vloggy vlog. It's your girl Victoria. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button and comment down below. No, <laughs> I am starting a whole new vlog. Yes, new beginnings. Okay, I just ended my other one, so I'm super excited for you guys to see that. Yesterday, I did a big, oh my God, a really, really big shopping trip for my apartment. I needed stuff in here because I was tired of eating out. Like at this point, I'm getting so sick of eating out my stomach and my mental just cannot take it no more i need to start eating at home okay like you ever eat so much fast food that you just physically can't even smell it can't be around it you think about it you want to throw up i can't mm -mm, can't do it no more so yeah i'm gonna rewind that back rewind the clip back from yesterday so y'all can see me do my little shopping thing or whatever i had to document it because it's my first you know shopping trip for my first apartment outside in a damn jeep Right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me. Still with the dolls that I grew beside. All the niggas proud, I ain't in it, guy. Gotta watch the time, cause it's free. Since when they have Olaplex at Kroger, I did not know that. So that's pretty cool. I don't know the real prices though, so I wonder if this is cheaper. grocery haul we're gonna start with trader joe's i got these pretty flowers you guys these flowers are so gorgeous they haven't even bloomed all the way that's why i got them you guys get flowers like this get the ones that are not like already bloomed like this get them like this because you can have them for so much longer okay so i got this this was like ten dollars beautiful beautiful arrangements i think i'm gonna start going to trader joe's for their flowers because i really really like their flowers i got these vegetables with stir fry sauce it looked really good with like the vegetables and stuff in it so i was like i might as well go ahead and try it out looks really yummy then i got the seasoned brussels sprouts y'all i love brussels sprouts i've never tried this but I'm sure it's gonna be really good. Of course, you guys already know this is like a staple for everybody. The mandarin orange chicken. This is a new buy for me. I always wanted to try something like this, but I never, I don't know, I never tried it. So I got this. I'll let you guys know, of course, how I like it. And it's already seasoned. So I love these things, you guys. This is so, 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 so good. I haven't tried this, but I've been hearing people talk about it. The vegetable fried rice with some chicken. They did have the one with chicken. I should have got it, but I don't know. I just wanted to try this one. I got some vegetable samosas. I love samosas. They're so good. I got the beef and broccoli as well. I've never tried this either, but I heard it's really good. Got some avocados. The ones at Kroger's did not look good, so I didn't want to pick those up. And then I got some chicken mini wontons. I got a lot of stuff from Kroger, a lot of stuff, so bear with me. So I got these little pancakes for my son. Y'all, these pancakes, if you see them at Kroger, get them. They're really, really good, okay? Some great Minute Maid Fruit Punch. Love this stuff, y'all. Love And I got, y'all, my stuff is warm. It is so hot today. Some Delight Ice Coffee. I don't really drink this. I don't really drink it often, but when I want it, I want it, and it's gonna save me money. So I got some butter, oranges, strawberry jelly. My son likes peanut butter and jelly. 
bell pepper. My son loves ramen noodles, so got him some ramen noodles. Got some sleepy time tea. I got this drink. I had seen it in like the kind of healthy section-ish stuff or whatever. I've never had it, but it looked good. I love peach and I love mint. Chicken noodle soup from Progresso. Of course, I had to get my salad. This is my favorite salad. Bananas. Also picked up some ginger because I do put these in smoothies and things. Tomatoes. My favorite tomatoes with the vine on it. Crispy onions for my salad. Of course, some eggs. Y'all, I cannot believe eggs are so expensive. I remember when eggs were like 99 cent, $1.99. These junks was like $4. Girl, that's too much. Too much. I did pick up these egg pasta noodles. I've been wanting to try these. I've been wanting to try these noodles for so long, so I just decided to go ahead and like pick them up. I'm sure they're really, really good because I'll be seeing them all over TikTok. And they just be looking so freaking tasty. More soup. I've never had this flavor. And these are like really quick meals. Or like if you're feeling under the weather. I love to keep these in my pantry. Another soup. I've never had this one either. Some olive oil. Some balsamic vinegar also for my salad. Also got these Reese Pieces minis for my son. It's cereal. Never seen these before. But I'm sure they'd be good. These cookies all the time. They're seasonal, so they always have like little designs and stuff on them for each season. So I picked these up as well for me and my son to bake. I picked up some yogurt as well. My son likes these and I may try them. I don't really know how I feel about this though. I'm not really a big yogurt person, honestly, but it's good to have in the house. Louisiana hot sauce, gotta have this girl. Okay, I didn't have none in my pantry, so I needed that. Chicken stock. Chicken stock, I also like to keep this in my pantry because you never know when you're gonna need it. Peanut butter. So I've been seeing the girls try this brand out. I wanna see if I like it because they have so many flavors. So I only picked up one of these and I picked up the classic root beer. So hopefully I like it. If I do, I'll pick up more. Cream cheese. If y'all have never tried anything like this, you need to try it. These noodles are stuffed with different cheeses. And this one actually has spinach inside. This goes with so many different things and is so good okay so definitely try this out because you'll love it some heavy whipping cream some local raw honey if any of you guys have allergies definitely pick you up some local raw honey because it will help with allergies and the season is coming up so go find you some local honey it has to be local to you and this one is the one i found in kroger's here in georgia okay picked up some more sardines this one is the oiled and lightly smoked i also picked up these raviolis i'm trying to see if my son is gonna like this i used to love this as a child but these kids these days are different. So <laughs> we're gonna see if he likes this, okay? So I picked up just one can. Of course, you gotta have the croissants, honey. Some potatoes, okay? Because I can use those for a lot of things. Onions, okay? So that is all the stuff I got from Kroger and from my grocery shopping trip. Oh, actually, there's one more thing I did pick up. Hold on. Pick my son up some Capri Suns. This was the last thing. So. Let me go ahead and put all this stuff away, y'all. I'm exhausted. I need to wipe out my fridge first, and then we can go ahead and put everything in there. I better find your love. I better find your heart. I better find your love. I better find your heart. I better find your love. I better find your heart. I better find your love. I better find your heart. I better find your love. spent a lot of a lot of money <laughs> but i'm happy that i have some stuff in my apartment so i can eat y'all i'm starving right now i have been filming all day long and right now i need a break i'm over it but i'm about to see what i want to eat real quick i had this last night and it's really really good so if y'all see this at trader joe's definitely pick it up i might go ahead and just eat this because there's only a little bit left and i'm gonna show y'all what I put with it, hold on. So yeah, honestly, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and eat what I had yesterday because it's easy and convenient. And I don't feel like 
really making nothing else. So it was super, super tasty. I wish I had like some soy sauce. Let me put y'all up here because it's higher. I wish I had like some soy sauce or something, but I don't. Oh my God, look at my pots and pans. I will have a home haul um, that's gonna come out on my channel. I don't know if you guys are gonna see it before or after this video. I'm not sure where to put you guys. I noticed that like a lot of YouTubers when they're like filming and doing their things in their apartment, they always have like a special place to put their camera. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm going to eventually. Yeah, these are so good, girl. And they were filling as well. They're pretty small, I would say. Let me see. This is how big they are. I'll probably show you guys, you know, what it looks like or whatever once I'm done cooking it. Go ahead and pop those in the air fryer. Son has karate at 6.30. He has like a tournament. So I want to hurry up and just kind of get myself together. So while my food is cooking, I'm getting ready to call my homegirl because we was on the phone earlier. I need to call her back because, girl, we was peeking, okay? And we were, we were having a juicy, juicy conversation. I found this drink at Kroger's. It's the Kobana, Kobani, I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Probiotics drink, it's peach and mint. I wasn't expecting it to be sour. Mm. It's not bad. Cool. But it's not the best either. I'm about to go ahead and drink this. Girl, that was kind of strong. I got a package from Poshmark. I had ordered a candle pretty much during a live show. She packaged it up really good. It came in a box like this. I'm gonna have to keep this bubble wrap, sis, because I'll be needing to package my orders with stuff. So let's see. So it's a white barn candle. This is the Island Margarita. Actually, I have smelled this before. This is a good scent for like spring and summer. Oh yeah, this smells, this smells amazing. It definitely is giving margarita vibes. Love that for me. So I'm gonna put this on my candle collection. Thank you, Poshmark. <laughs> um, so yeah, y'all, my food is almost done. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Guys, I need to pay my car tags. I don't understand. These people like to send you your renewal for your car tags around your birthday. Like, what a way to say happy birthday. Y'all should be giving me some for my birthday. Why well, I gotta give y'all something? Y'all have to pay this before my birthday, which is March 25th, but I just like to handle stuff ahead of time so I don't forget, because I will forget, okay? And I think if you forget, like, it goes up. The price goes up. You ain't got no time for that at all. Whew, it's done. Thank you, Jesus. A clap. gonna do before I get ready for my son's tournament is put some clothes away if I told you guys I am working with the Yiddy so I have some items that they sent over to me I used to hang all that stuff up I like to have everything already ready on my fashion rack so I know like what needs to be filmed or not I'm gonna try to see if I don't use my light over here how I like it I mean the light is not bad over here because I'm in my living room but I need to go through these items because they are outfits I'm not sure what goes with what, but here's one of the pieces. I've never tried Giddy before. This is my first time. This is super cute. I think this goes with the white hat. Super, super cute. Okay. Long sleeve t-shirt. Really good quality. The high-waisted leggings. And yeah, I got mine in a size 3X. These are cute. I like the color. The color of these are super cute and I like the material. The quality is really good too. 
this is cute it's just like a regular t-shirt that has yitty on it and it's kind of stitched on there y'all see that i don't know if y'all can tell that's really really cute high-waisted shorts i think this goes with this if i'm not mistaken i've been seeing people in these items and i always really like them i think it looks and i think it looks really good on everybody so and i love their packaging look at what it says on there oh that is super super cute this is cute i love this denim material yeah this is cute i love this oh and it has a stretch back it says yitty <laughs> Oh, this is cute. I like this one. This one is cute. I like the, it's like a cream color. It's not really white. It's definitely cream. Then it has a stretch back. Even though this is not sponsored, I will have all this stuff linked down below for you guys if you're interested in picking them up. Let's get into the ugh, Princess Polly. Oh, their packaging is too cute. Look at this. I love it. Ooh, this is thick, honey. This is thick. I should have got this a size down. I don't know why. Oh, I don't know why I got this so big, but that's okay because I'll definitely try to get a look in with it. Ugh. Ew. This is kind of a thicker material too. I would probably wear this only when it's kind of chilly outside. I love this design. It's actually a dress. I don't know if you guys can see that, and it's hella stretchy. What is this? I'm excited. I think I know. I think I know what this is. <gasps> yes, they actually sent this one. I sent a whole bunch of stuff, and they kind of pick what they want to send me. Oh, this is cute. I cannot wait to wear this. This is gonna be so cute. It's like a romper when it gets really hot outside. Here's the shoes that I got. <gasps> I love the fact that it has the toe thing here because y'all, my feet be slipping. I sweat on my feet and my toes just be slipping. So, love the thick heel. Let me put these on real quick. I got these because I seen it on another influencer and I was like, girl, they look so comfortable.
All right, y'all. So we're going to be making cookies. Yum, 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 yum. All right. Ooh. You know what to do. Go ahead. Make sure they space good. Like this? Over here more. Down some. Are you gonna eat these today? Hey girls, so it's been a couple days and I got my couch delivered. Like, ah, I finally have a couch. I don't know if I told you guys in my last vlog that um, I have found a couch. I don't think I mentioned that, but I did get a couch. I will tell you guys the name of it. It's a Cindy Crawford couch. It's fine with an S, but it's not on here. And I'll show you guys in a minute, like, how it looks. It pulls out and everything. I love it. And it's so soft. So, yeah, I love my couch. I'm glad she's here. I just need to get a couple more things for my living room. I feel like it's still kind of, like, all over the place. I do want to do, like, a little tour, but I want to make sure I have all my decor and stuff already set in place. So, anyways, you guys, today is Saturday. I'm getting ready to... Throw something else on. I just did a video for Tribe 35. You guys will see that if you're wondering where the set is from. But yeah, I did a video for them. And now I'm about to get my nails done and my feet because y'all, okay? Your girl has been looking dusty, crusty, okay? Dusty and crusty, and I'm sick of it. I'm gonna go ahead and do something that's kind of more on the relaxing side so I can just kind of clear my mind a little bit. So let me show y'all this couch real quick and then we'll go head out. So here's my new couch. Ah, she is so pretty. <sighs> So yeah, it comes out like that and that's ultimately why I got the couch because I love this. The other day me and my son was out here watching a movie and I fell asleep. Like I fell asleep. He was so mad at me. So I was like, son, look, couch is too comfortable. So anyways, this is my new baby. I'm going to put her back and just go like that and then push her back in. That simple. So I just went and got my nails done. You guys just seen that. These are my nails, what she's looking like. I just wanted a very natural type of look. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's actually the next day. I went the other day to get my feet done, but the girl I like to do my nails wasn't there. So I had to come back today to get my nails done. It is what it is. But um, <sighs> anyway, so I was just thinking, you guys, I just left the salon and I do like my nails, but the girl that did my nails, she usually does a really good job. This is like my second time getting my nails done by her. This time around, I feel like she was really rushing the process and like rushing the experience and i don't feel like my nails came out exactly the way i wanted them like the shape i don't know if you guys can tell on this one it's kind of really like thick and i don't know i was just sitting here thinking like going to the nail shop is just not the same anymore like i remember going to the nail shop and it being like a really good experience it was fun it was relaxing um i love what i always got on my nails and i was satisfied but nowadays i just feel like I don't know nowadays I just feel like these nail shops is just not the same like the prices is going up the service is not getting better um it just seemed like they be having an attitude they don't be wanting to talk it's like I don't know I just I don't know y'all I just feel like the experience is just not the same I really wish I wasn't lazy and like really wanted to do my own nails because 
I don't know at this point I'm just like I don't even feel like going I feel like it's a task it's not even fun anymore I cannot find a really good nail salon that I can really stick to and that I love because something is always happening like I'll go for a little bit and it'll be fine and then all of a sudden they'll start getting lazy things start getting chaotic and you know I just I don't know y'all I'm really kind of irritated but I got a feel and I pay $50 or whatever but I don't know it is what it is I'm not super satisfied but I needed my nails done so what am I gonna do I do live in Atlanta so if you know any good nail techs please leave them down below I don't care if I gotta travel at this point let me know who y'all go to so I can get better service and better shapes and better designs or whatever have you I don't know what to do at this point honestly like I don't know who to go to at this point and I want to try gel x honestly too I've been hearing a lot of good things about gel x so yeah y'all I don't want to keep rambling but I was just sitting here thinking like it's just not the same anymore like it's not the same these nail shops are not the same so anyway y'all ran over enough rambling but let me know if y'all feel me in the comments because at this point i'm over it but anyway so right now i'm getting ready to go to bath and body works i have a online pickup order i didn't know that you can do that with bath and body works like you can order something and then pick it up in store they're doing um well they they did do like buy one get one free with their hand soaps so I ordered a bunch. doing all the craziness all the stuff i had to do move y'all up a bit um yeah i had to run a lot of errands and then i had to take my son to karate i'm tired i'm gonna show you guys what i got from bath and body works really quick um, most of this stuff is um hand washes for like the bathroom the kitchen and all that like i was saying i picked up the mahogany teakwood this is what it looks like like i got this one for my son's dad because it is like a male scent so i thought he would like it they have like little gift wrappings at bath and body works so i got the little gift wrapping i'm gonna put it in there for his kitchen um i thought he can use it my son is over there clapping for me like i'm doing a performance or something y'all thank you son <laughs> mm. And y'all know men, they don't really, they don't really think about stuff like this. Don't buy a cheap, um, a cheap hand wash at the freaking Dollar Tree or at the grocery store. And don't care about the scent or nothing like that. So every time he has like lotions or colognes and stuff or like stuff like this, hand sanitizers, car air fresheners, it usually comes from me. Because I like, I don't know, I like buying people gifts and just because you know we're in the situation we're in doesn't mean i don't care about him i love giving people gifts okay and he's a great dad so i like to buy him things when i know he can use it yeah, so i'm trying to you said what he is a great dad yeah he is oh he getting ready to pick up my son because we just got back home from karate so i wanted to have that ready for him when yeah. he knocks on the dough i got another lip gloss because i'm running out of lip gloss back and body works lip gloss is the only lip gloss that i really gravitate towards and this is the pink mint so for hand soaps i got the peach bellini y'all peach bellini is my favorite i love peach bellini if you guys never have peach bellini any type of product for back and body works you need to get it like you need to and i love the packaging as well for this i got the cucumber and lily which is really cute i love their packaging i got a body cream this is the waikiki beach coconut y'all this is my absolute favorite um one of my favorites from back and body works the lotion anything like coconutty i really really love that the turquoise waters this is another one it's a foaming one though and then i got the mahogany coconut is this a gel yes yeah, a gel mahogany mm. coconut i'm a coconut girl through and through i love like oh. coconut vanilla you don't like coconut yeah because when we went to hawaii it tastes so bad 
not to well i don't like coconut to eat it but i like how it smells and like the lotions and stuff yeah okay so then i got the mango papaya paradise which is really nice paradise there goes my dad knocking. okay hold on y'all it's daddy here hey y'all so my kid just left <laughs> Here. No, ain't no tear because y'all needed a break. He was getting on my everlasting nerves. Y'all, if y'all parents, you already know. Okay. <laughs> Whew, when the kids go with the dad, it'd be I'll be feeling like a whole new woman, honey. A whole new woman. I'll be ready to do some things. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> back to the hall. So I got the Waikiki Beach coconuts and the hand soap as well. This is really I love their packaging. Their packaging is everything. I gotta smell it, y'all. I have to smell it. Even though I already know what it smells like. Oh, I gotta smell it. Oh, it smells so good. I got the Island Margarita as well. I love this scent too. This is another good one. I got the Mango Mai Tai. This is what it looks. I love the little bird on there. Super, super cute. One more thing. I got the Waikiki Beach Coconut like Wallfly. Wallfly. What? wall flower there we go um so yeah this is what she looks like just like that so that is all i picked up from bath and body works girl i am set i don't need no more hand soaps these hand soaps should last me quite a bit let me see one two three four five six seven eight i don't need no more yeah get my new soap damn mm. and i love the gel soaps too because they're so moisturizing they don't dry your hands out or nothing. But, um, yeah, anyways, I'm not sure what I have a taste for right now. I really want some wings, but the wing place I usually go to is really far, and I just do not feel like driving. Like, I don't. I got some on my nose. I just don't feel like driving. Like, it's not a driving day for me. Um, so, I'm tempted to do DoorDash. Very tempted. But the problem with doing that is I'm tired of spending money. So, yeah, I don't really want to do that. What should I eat, y'all? It's so annoying. I hate when I don't know what I want to eat. I guess it's true when they say, like, women be hungry, but they never know what they want to eat. Child, I, I don't. I don't. I just know I need to eat. And I'm hungry. I got a taste for something, but I don't know what. I'm tempted to go to Applebee's. Like, I'm craving Applebee's, like, really bad. I'm kind of craving a little drinky drink, a little sampler platter. That's all I get from Applebee's with the buffalo little chicken things with the dip and all that. And they have drinks. Girl, I'm about to go to Applebee's. Oh,